Submitting a good proposal won't guarantee a selection in GSOC. Proposal won't even matter. I worked with Amahi in GSOC 2019. Make sure that you are giving your best in Google Summer. Hey what's up welcome to a new video in this video let's talk about how do you write a kickass proposal for google summer of code first of all i'd like to clear that submitting a good proposal won't guarantee a selection in gsoc i've said it many a times in my articles that if you have a good amount of contributions and if the mentors even slightly remember your name your proposal won't even matter but of course it's a part of the application process so you'd want to make sure that you're giving your best so how do you write a good proposal the way we're going to answer this is by walking you through my proposal that got accepted in google summer of code for those of you that don't know i worked with amahi in gsoc 2019 and <gasps> so here on the screen you can see my proposal please note that every organization has their own template that you should follow while writing the proposal but you can use this general template they're more or less the same so it doesn't really matter that much. I'll not read each and every bit of my proposal. You can pause the video and read it if you want to. Also, before writing the proposal, do discuss your ideas with the mentors because you wouldn't want them to catch something out of the blue while reviewing your proposal. So uh, first, as you can see, my name, IRC, username, email, etc. Then the title, abstract. Abstract is where you give a little brief about the ideas that you're proposing. And uh, then comes the description where you basically extrapolate the abstract and also mention the issue number if there is one. The most distinguishing thing that makes your proposal outshine others is the screenshots you add or the designs of how your implemented features would look like. And the rough code, these lines of code um, to implement those features. So that's all of that. Let's keep scrolling. Uh, next. I think comes the timeline. Uh, yes, next is the timeline. So timeline is where you mention the tentative dates and weekly targets that you'll achieve during the coding period. Feel free to be honest if you want a week to you know learn something in between. That's completely fine uh, because GSOC is a program that encourages freshers to participate in open source and you will have to learn things to be able to work on projects many a times. So yeah, that's that. And next we mention the testing and verification where you can say that you'll write UI tests, unit tests, and also you can mention the devices that you'll test your implementations on. Then you can mention references, links to maybe some docs you used while writing the proposal. And then you have to share your experience and about your education, what you do and stuff. And uh, then share why you'd be a good fit. And uh, this is the most important part contributions that you've made before the uh, coding period, that is when you're applying and before that. So that is that. Also, please be honest, if you're going on a week of vacation, it's totally fine. Do mention that here in other commitments. That is really, really important uh, so that the mentors are aware of it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, make sure that there are no you know, grammatical errors and that it's neither too short nor too long. 10, 16 pages is a fairly fine length that your proposal should be about. Also, a little side note, this will be my last video on GSOC. I have some exciting ideas on mind for the upcoming videos. But anyway, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And now you can get back to writing your proposal. Take it easy. It's nothing too fancy, nothing too hectic. You've got this. Hey, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. Make sure that you subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at iSwiftShake. DM me any questions. I'll definitely get back to you. See you in the next video. Awesome. Okay. Hey!